Hello, the Happy Satellite Nerd here. Today I'd like to talk to you about how to set up your free air receiver and how to properly set up your transponder frequencies so that when you're aiming it, you won't be just aiming it for no reason and you'll be able to get your signals. And also I'd like to show you how to do a blind scan. And I will be using the Galaxy 19 satellite as an example today. So what this is, is just simply a motor that connects to the dish. It will move along the arc east and west and it just has a regular piece of coaxial cable co cable going up and down it uh, from the receiver so the great thing about this is it just you don't need to have uh, an extra uh, motor driver or anything it all works with the one receiver to this motor to the LMB for the dish all right so you hit menu and you go to your installation menu for your satellite so first thing I'd like to talk about is the antenna setup now you want to have your antenna set up so that first you want to have the appropriate satellite. In this case, we're going to, we're going to say it's 97 West Galaxy 19. You want to have, make sure your LMB frequency is at 10,750. That's very important, 10,750. For this particular LMB, if you have the wrong um, LMB frequency, you're not going to get anything on your satellite. So I'll give you an example. My KU band, CKU band LMB that I used to have on my C band dish would have to be on 10600 for it to work. If I had it at uh, the other setting at 10750, it would not work. So it's very important to uh, have um, have that to your correct to the correct setting, because uh, or else you're not going to get any signal. And if you have a friend, sometimes the best thing to do if you are setting up a dish is maybe get a receiver that's already had the channel scanned in so that you can use to aim the dish. I find that's the quickest and easiest way of doing it. When I first set up a dish, that was, it was uh, I spent hours trying, standing in the sun trying to aim the, the dish when I first started. So you can see the frequencies here. You can move, move around and see which ones have channels on them. And, programming to watch and there is a position for my motor because I have mine on a motor and I just have it at position 10. This setting the disc Q disc dissect I've heard other people uh, call it I don't know exactly how to pronounce it but we'll call for this video we'll call it a dissect um, it uh, for this particular setup, I have it on on uh, disable. What that will do is, it'll just show you ports ports one, two, three, and four. You can get like a four switch. Sometimes there's eight eight way switches, so you can hook up eight uh, dishes or LMBs up to the same up to one receiver. But I want it on disable. There we go. And also the disc Q dice dice Q whatever. Um, there's things there. Anyway, for this setup, I have it on zero. 22K, you want to have that off. And the only reason why you would have it on is if you have a disc, um, a 22K switch or a satellite dish that has a 22K switch built into it. And that would be a lot of satellite dishes that um, kind of maybe are used for subscription services or, or something, and then they have. Um, like one of the ones I'm showing at the end of this video where uh, it has two LMBs so to turn on one LMB you just leave it off and to have uh, your system go to another LMB you turn it simply on and it'll work. Now with this setup since I have it on there's no switch it's just not going to do anything but if you did have one and you had it on what it would be doing is it would be sending the signal to the one root position and if you had it off it would just but because I don't have that, it's just going to send it to this one position. Motor type is a Dysec 1.2. So what that does is it just sends electricity through the regular coax cable to the motor without having to have any extra cables running to it. It's a great invention, brilliant invention. And I can even go to my motor here. And I, if I want to, I can move it east or west and change the signal strength but I think I have it pretty bang on where where I had it there some of the channels are a little weaker today but also there's a little bit of overcast 
I'm actually getting a little stronger there. Maybe I'll bring that back just a hair. Get 71%? Sure. And then, because <laughs> sometimes I just need to move it a little bit from time to time, especially when I'm moving up and down the arc. And go. So I have a single satellite set, a multiple satellite scan, and a transponderless and LMB power setting. I just leave that it's on or off. I just leave that alone. Uh, the transponder list is if you have something and you just want to scan one transponder. I can't even read the screen and see it there on the computer monitor here. Try the blue button. Yes, so uh, it just gives me the transponder search. Do I want free to air? Yes, I just want free to air. TV and radio, network search. I don't even know if that, someone can answer this to, for me in the comments. Does network search really do anything for you in free to air? I don't know. Hit okay. On this receiver, I just have to back out whenever it says moving the dish, because even though the dish is at where it's gotta be, it's still there. So I just did a quick scan of um, one transponder and there's like 10 channels and there's four um, radio channels, 10 TV channels and four radio channels. All right, now we'd like to show you how to do a blind scan to uh, uh, get all your free radio and TV channels with your receiver. So I'll show you what this can do with a blind scan. So to the blind scan on this receiver, I just go to Signal Satellite Scan. Um, I select 97 West, free to air only or no, yes or no. I want yes because I just don't want a whole bunch of scrambled channels that I can't even watch. So I just hit free to air, yes. And you can do two modes here. There's the blind scan mode, which will take longer, but it will give you a full scan of your satellite. And there's a pre 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 preset scan, which will just do your already programmed in transponder. So if you only have five transponders that you want to look at and watch programming on, just you can manually program them in and then scan for the channels that you want to get. But in this case, I want to see what all that I can possibly get. So I'm going to do a blind scan. So it takes a while to get going. Once you see the first uh, transponder go, you'll see a whole bunch of channels being scanned in as it goes through. Right now it's going through all the horizontal transponders and then it will go through all of the vertical uh, transponders on the satellite. And this is a good time to either just go get a drink or go on the computer and surf the internet or do something while it's scanning. I do enjoy watching scanning because I'm a nerd and I, I am the happy satellite nerd and I am happy when I'm looking at what channels are out there. And, but uh, yeah, it definitely could be a timely process. I think this open box that I am using is actually one of the faster scanning receivers for doing a blind scan. And I think it is going a little slower today. Maybe it's just getting older. Maybe it's the overcast outside today. It's hard to say. And I think it's switching over to the lower vertical channels. And there, here we go. You're starting to see the vertical transponder channels to begin to scan in. So this is a great setup if you want to get some free TV and you're in an area where maybe you can't get these services through streaming or you just want to play around with this equipment. It doesn't really, it's not that expensive. You can sometimes find it uh, cheaper, uh, uh, cheaper uh, second hand. Um, And the search has ended. So it says that I got 179 TV channels and 60 radio channels. This channel is available. For more information, contact info at pitcom.com. So if you want to have your, so this is great. So if you want to have your own free to air television channel, 
you would go here you would you would send an email to these people and you would find out how much it would be um somebody could maybe let me know in the comments i thought that it was like is it twenty or forty thousand dollars a month or something like that? <laughs> twenty. You know, that's a big jump, I guess. Toward either uh, for a, t a free day or channel. I have no idea. I could never afford something like that, but I do enjoy that, and I enjoy the services that provide the free-to-air television when they do. Maybe somebody who has something good can put it up here. Some tech reviews or something. Put it up on Galaxy 19. It would be a lot of fun for everyone to watch.